Hello, hello, crafty friends! Welcome to Fun Paper Art Channel. On today's video, I would like to share with you two beautiful Christmas cards and this beautiful Christmas tag that I created using a Love Art Shop dice. And I hope you guys enjoy watching. And here is my first card. And I think it's very simple, but at the same time, beautiful. I really like the results. And I was planning to add a sentiment here, but I think it didn't go well, so I kept it plain like this. And for the base, I have white 110 pounds cardstock. And then for this design cardstock here and here, I did use the Sugar Plums paper pad from Michaels and the golden cardstock is also from Michaels and I went around with my glue and glitter to decorate this layer and also the bow and I did use a die from Ali for this bow here and I did go around with the glue and glitter and I popped up on some foam and then over here I did use one of the In Love Art Shop dies and it's so beautiful it did cut super well I really like it here is the back of my card with my stamp and then over here I did add a second layer of the Sugar Plums cardstock and I did add this die cut here from or it's from Recollections or Sizzix because I did use both uh, dies for words and I don't remember now which one but it's one of them for sure <laughs> super cute and then I created this second card and I think it turned out super cute I just love pandas and again the white card stock is 110 pounds and I think I got it from Walmart a while ago the design card stock is from the sugar plums paper pad from Michaels this one this golden card stock is from Michaels and this specific one is from Hobby Lobby I think it's poster board I was trying to use my scraps and yes it's so cute I went around again using my glue and glitter I love doing that and then I added this layer here of pink cardstock and then I did cut this doily and this is one of the in love art shop dies and it looks like this and you can either make it a doily or you can make it a frame if you use the circle die and I did go ahead and cut the circle so you can see that it did cut well and for this panda here I did use these dies from the panda set and this set comes with this panda, this one, butterflies and the words cute love. But I do not recommend using this die here because it has a lot of swirls. So it's very hard to remove the paper without tearing. And if you can see over here, the die doesn't continue. So on this parts here, the paper kind of tears so yeah you can manage using a craft knife if you want but this one did cut super well see how cute he is just one thing i did open this eye here a little bit more using my uh, spellbinders tool because i thought it was kind of tiny <laughs> and i wanted something more proportional so i did open this eye a little bit more and for the eyes i did add glossy accents and he's super cute i really like him over here i did use a martha stewart punch for this sprigs or branches and i added glue and glitter 
then for these designs here, this Christmas trees, I did use another set of dies from In Love Art Shop. And the set comes with these dies over here. And yes, I did cut the star out because I didn't want the star. I wanted it to look like a forest in the background. And then here in the little holes on the tree I did add glue and glitter and here is the present die that I did use here and this is the bowl that I did use here and let's see I did go ahead and cut this this snowflake or star then I did cut this one here They cut well, but they're kind of hard to remove from the, the die. And this one. And what else? We have the candle. And it cuts super well. Very pretty. Uh, what else? Ah, from the panda die. Here are the butterflies. very tiny <laughs> and then this one I will be sharing later what else I think that's it for the front of the card and then here on the back I have my stamp and then I did add another layer of cardstock here using the sugar plums cardstock and then here we have this kind of banner and I did have a problem with this banner it comes with the Christmas bulbs dies and it looks like this you guys so as you can see the Y is not finished and the A is not really an A so I did have to use my uh, craft knife to make it look like an A and to finish the Y here because it was actually cutting like this. So if someone from In Love Art Shop is watching this video, you just need to know that you need to fix the die, making this part a little bit longer and making this looking like an A <laughs> and that would be wonderful because it is a super cute die but it just is not uh, finished so yes this was my second card I think it turned out super cute and here is a close look I did add some color to his cheeks isn't it pretty? And I am in love with this tag, you guys. It's so adorable. <laughs> he is the cutest panda. And this is a die from In Love Art Shop. So it's this one here that came with this set. And I just love it. It did cut super well. It's super cute. And let's see. I have two layers of cardstock. I have the white cardstock and then sugar plums. This is also sugar plums, sugar plums, sugar plums. And the black and white and the green cardstocks are scraps, probably from Michael's cardstock. Over here, I do have this beautiful pink eyelash trim, and it's so soft yummy <laughs> and then i went around this tag with my glue and glitter also in here on the bowl on the bamboo and on this die here and this is a Sizzix or recollections die and this tag here is a Sizzix die 
so pretty i did use the hobby lobby snow marker to make some snowflakes and the snow here and i did add some glowing glitter to them too i did use here a tim holtz ball punch and i added a center i did add chalk to his cheeks and yes it looks so pretty i just love it <laughs> and that's it for this video i will make sure to include the links to all the in love art shop dies that i did use for these projects in the description box as well as a 20 percent off coupon code to their website in case you are interested Thank you all so, so much for watching. I wish you all a lovely day and I hope to talk to you pretty soon. Bye bye.